on the pain of my brain. Let's go, guys. Let's understand how we can put picanha or rump steak outside the whole ramp. You know. So first time, first step. You by hand, like a craft. You can grab with your hands in the middle of the fat, like like a bar barbarian, barbarian guy from Vikings. You can put like this first. Be careful with knives, because you can cut like this your fingers. Last week I um, was washing dishes and the, the, the glass was broken and you know, cut my finger very deeply actually and uh, I'm spending all week in hospital. I'm joking, <laughs> just in, at home with my special girl girlfriend over there. She's making a good clean because we Today we offer, we will offer a simple barbecue, like a oven barbecue. And we have to cut this, this, this part of the whole meat, this is whole meat. This is, you can buy for about 20 bucks, all meat in farm jacks and this is the best part of the meat. This is called picanha. It's a triangle meat. And you cut here. Okay. In Australia, we can call this ramp cap. You can find this some place in re restaurants specialized in meats here. We have a restaurant Lapa that uh, was created by Fabio Lee Silva, He's a Brazilian one, ex specialized in foods and uh, meat. Now he, op he opened a Galeto Trattoria in Subiaco as well, very close to Lapa restaurant but it's a specialized in, in pasta and galetos. It's a special chicken, small chicken, little chicken. In Australia, it's called galeto as well, or little chicken. So now we have to cut the fat, the bad fat. This is a good fat. This definitely should be here to get some smell and taste to your meat and this is the bad fat this is, is bad smell and it's a, a bit difficult to eat you know it's a struggle if you want to eat like this this is like a speci special part between picanha and another meat you know this is like a premium meat. So after you cut uh, picanha, I want to, to make a oven barbecue. So I, I don't use the outside barbecue or charcoal barbecue or gas barbecue. I, I will cook this meat in, in the oven. And this is a good, good one because you, you can put more salt, rock salt. I use rock salt today, this meat, and put the aluminum foil to make a, a high temperature, you know? To salt. The salt smell salt come from inside this meat. And this became a, a unbelievable tasting, like the best meat 
ever, ever, ever in your life. If you eat these meats one time, just one time, just one trial, you definitely became addictive in the regular eating. Eaters. Guys, this is how you can how can you cut a picanha one? I, and it became like this, a triangle, like this. Triangle or Tasmania, looks like Tasmania as well. Huh? But, uh, definitely this. Be careful with knives, guys, be, be careful. Don't do this by yourself at home if you don't have cooker certificate or diploma in hospitality because you definitely have to learn how can you use knives properly safe in the job environment you know what i mean thank you so much guys see you next week guys the trick to make a very tender and tasty picanha in the oven you can use a sear salt premium salt, rock salt, you know, and you can put like a little bit, a, just a little bit in the foil, aluminum foil, you can fit this in the tray, I use the glass tray, and a little bit, just to by the the fit picanha inside, you know, put like this, and, and then more rock salt inside. Don't worry about how much salt you you put because after this you will create we will create a, like a very tiny glass of salt inside because a half cooking you will cooking inside the olive foil aluminum foil and then after half cooking about 30 minutes you can put out just for make a crispy outside, you know? It's a, it's a little trick, it's a family trick. My, my, my grandfather was born in South Brazil. The, he was specialized in making this kind of food. I, I ate this since I was zero years, like since I was born. And uh, that's it, guys. This is a special trick to make a picanha in the oven. You have to put now in, in the oven around 180 degrees just for cooking very, very, very slowly. And then that's it, guys. Enjoy our meal. Bye.